So in this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply polynomials. And a polynomial just means, the word poly means more than one or multiple. And the word nom, that word nom, N-O-M, means names. So we're naming certain terms or these more than one term names, all right? And so the first type we start off with is what we call something that's a single term. We call that a monomial. So when you multi multiply monomials, you're going to multiply the coefficients to get a single new coefficient, and then you're going to always add the exponents. So when you multiply, you're really using the distributive property. And we'll get further into the distributive problem when we talk about more terms, but all the distributive property says is, is that when we multiply... The distributive property says we multiply two things, a times b plus c. Here's what happens. Each term has to be multiplied by the, each term inside the grouping symbols, and your grouping symbols are the parentheses, has to get multiplied by that term. So you're going to get a times b plus a times c. So we're going to use that further on in this video, but right now, we're just going to multiply monomials. So when we do this, we multiply this negative y, and all it's saying is that I have one negative y there, a negative 5 here. And so I'm going to write this as negative y times, you have a 5 times, and then you have this term y squared. Well, y squared just means y times y. And so... Sorry, this was a negative 5. So what you get now is, well, the coefficient here is just negative 5. But then you have a, you have a negative y times two other y's right here. And, well, this is just multiplying again. Because technically the number with that negative y is a negative 1. So we can rewrite this as well as negative 5 times negative 1 times y times y times y. So you look here, negative 5 times negative 1, positive 5. And then you have 1, 2, 3 y's. That's what we talk about, you adding your y's, your, coefficient, your uh, exponents. So 2 here, 1 here, that's 3 total. So this is just 5y cubed. On this next one, you have this first term. It can be written as negative 1 times x. This term is x times x. And then this term right here is written as 2 times x. So notice again, you have 1x here, 2x is here, 1x here. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 1, 1 plus 2 plus 1. If you're going to multiply your numbers, 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2. And then you have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. So that's just going to be negative 2 x to the fourth. So that's what happens when we multiply by a by two monomials. And monomial means that you have a single term. And by terms, you're looking at the number of coefficient, the number of uh, variables with the next one that you have here. If we extend that process, we can multiply this single term monomial here in the front by other terms. And again, all this is distributive property. And so what this says now is that we're going to multiply this term, which is the monomial, multiplied by a polynomial. Polynomials have pluses and minuses in between terms. So notice you have a plus and a minus in between these two terms. And so now I'm going to multiply by this monomial by those terms. And each term will get that one term out in the front. And so I'll multiply this by that, this by this, and then this by this. And what's going to happen is you're going to multiply coefficients again. And then you're going to add exponents. So first part, and here's what you're going to get. I'm going to write it all out so you can see it. But it's 2x squared times times x squared plus 
two x squared times three x minus two x squared times negative five. And so again, the numbers in front of the term that don't have a number, such as this x squared right here is just a one. So it's two times one for the coefficient. That's two. And then remember this x squared, if you want to write it out, x squared literally looks like this. It's just x times x. So what I have is two x's here, two x's here. You can just add the exponents though. Two plus two is four, so that's two x to the fourth. Plus two times the number here is three. So two times three is six. And again, I have a two x's here and one x here this time. So that'll be x cubed. And then back here, I have two, a negative two this time. It's a negative two times, and I wrote this by a positive, but it shouldn't be a positive. It should just be a five, because the negative came in the front. So realize that this negative right here, this negative sitting right here, got put right here. So you multiply two x squared by the five. So it's two times the five, which is 10. And you have two x's, so that's just a minus 10 x squared. Let's look at the next one. Again, you have this monomial y. And you're going to take that and multiply it by each one of these terms. So I'll multiply it here. I'll multiply it here. And I'll multiply it here. So when I do that, I have a negative y or a, this negative y can be written as negative 1 times y. So that's what you're multiplying by everything. So I have a negative y times y squared plus a negative y times 8y plus a negative y times 4. So what we're doing is, here you have a y, here you have two y's, so it's a total of three y's, so you get a, you have the negative sitting in the front, so it's negative y cubed plus, here you have a negative y, you have one y and another y is two y's, and you have the negative and the eight going together, because remember that's a, this is a negative one, times eight, so that's negative eight. So I'll change that to a negative. So the negative eight y squared, because you have two of those y's. And then you have a negative one times the four and that y, so this would be a negative four. All right, and here, the last thing we're going to talk about is this method when we multiply it. The special type of multiplying is when we multiply binomials. And binomials are terms, or any kind of polynomials that have two terms in them. So one, two, a binomial. One, two, a binomial. If you multiply a binomial by another binomial, you should get back what's called a trinomial, a three-term equation. And so it works like this. We use what's called the FOIL method. And so FOIL says take the terms A plus B and multiply it by the term C plus D. And when we do that, we're going to use this method that we call FOIL. FOIL stands for first which are the first terms would be A times C. 
Then it comes next would be your outer term. There you go, your outer, which is A times D. Then you get what you call your inner terms. which are B times C. And then you get your last terms, which is B times D. Now, notice this is just a special property of the district, a special property for the distri distribution. Every term back here gets multiplied by the first term here. A gets multiplied by C. A gets multiplied by D. And then every term back here gets multiplied by this term. B gets multiplied by C. B gets multiplied by D. This is just a mnemonic to help you remember it. So when we look at this, let's use the FOIL method. The first thing we're going to multiply the first terms, which are 3x times 2x. And then we're going to multiply the last terms. So this is minus 3x, or let's do it like this, let's call this plus 3x minus 9. And then we do our inner terms at our portfolio. So that's plus 4 times 2x. And then we do our last terms, which are plus 4 times a negative 9. And so when we clean things up, remember we do coefficient 3 times 2 is 6. Then you have an x times an x, which is an x squared. Then you have 3 times negative 9 which is a negative 27x. Then you have 4 times 2, which is a positive 8x. Then you have a 4 times negative 9, which is a negative 36. Here's why we get a trinomial from this. These terms have the same variable x, so you can add them and get a, combine them. So when you're done, you get 6x squared, Negative 27x plus 8x is a negative 19x minus 36. So look what you get. You started with two binomials multiplying them. You got a three-term polynomial in the end, which is called the trinomial. Let's look at this next one, which says 4x minus 9 squared. So for this one, it says 4x minus 9 squared. Now, we can rewrite this. Remember, a square just means that you have the same term written twice. So literally what this is, is I have 4x minus 9 times 4x minus 9. And I can go and use my FOIL process again. So I'm going to go here, which is 4x times 4x. Then I'll go to my last terms, which is, I'm sorry, my outer terms which is plus 4x times negative 9. Then I'll move to my inner terms, which is 9, or negative 9, I'm sorry. Negative 9 times 4x. And then I'll move to my last terms, which is negative 9 times negative 9. And so remember when we multiply, we do 4 times 4, that's 16. And you have an x and an x, so that's 16x squared. Then I'll do 4x times negative 9. So that's 4 times negative 9 is a negative 36. And I have an x. And I'll do negative 9 times 4. That is also a negative 36x. Then I have negative 9 times negative 9 is a positive 81. And again, remember, 
Anytime you multiply two binomials, you get back a trinomial because these are going to be able to get combined. So this is 16x squared minus 36, and 36 is 72x plus 81.